So who was Martin Luther, the person that we're named after? Well, Martin Luther's life changed forever one night when he was caught in a thunderstorm on the side of a road, thought he was going to die, cried out that if he were to be spared, he would dedicate his life to God and the church. And so he changed gears from studying law to studying theology. He became an Augustinian monk, a theologian, a biblical scholar. He was a professor, a teacher. He trained theologians. Uh, he was the best-selling author in all of Europe. Uh, most of what was printed in Europe was written by Martin Luther. Um, he was also a pastor and a preacher. There are amazing letters that he's writ we have that he wrote to people who were hurting and had questions and wrote to them very pastorally. Um, he gave very long <laughs> sermons, uh, and which we still have. We have so many of his writings. And Martin Luther really transformed, obviously, the church but he also transformed uh, the world. So uh, leading up to the year 2000, you might remember there were all these lists of things that happened in the last millennia and the most important people in the last millennia. And oftentimes in those lists, you would see that Martin Luther was considered by many to be the most important person in the millennia between 1000 and 2000 because his insights, his voice, he revolutionized publishing. He sort of essentially invented the modern sense of self. He said at one of um, the theological cons consultations, here I am, I can do no other, which was a radical thing for one person to say, here I am, I can do no other against the Pope and the Holy Roman Emperor and all the forces and religious and political powers uh, of his time. So Martin Luther really changed not just the church, but changed the entire world.